Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little look at some core knowledge curriculum that we purchased. This is um, their History of the United States um, curriculum that we are looking at using in the future. Um, and yeah, so I thought I would show it to you. Um, this is part of what they recommend for middle school and they have world history and U.S. history. So this is something that I am planning to use kind of as a spine for when we do U.S. history, I think, um, in the future. But probably not till like seventh grade. But anyway, I thought I would share it with you. I got volume one and volume two. And then I also bought the teacher's guide, which I don't normally buy um, the teacher's guides. I normally just print them, but I'm kind of over printing everything. So I went ahead and got the teacher's guide as well. So I'll show you that. It was pretty nice though. So here's the big idea. The history of the United States is the story of many different groups of people. Um, it tells you what the students should already know and then what the students need to learn. There is time period background. Um, this is a continuation of what the students need to learn. A special note to teachers talking about slavery. And this gives you kind of like at a glance the most important ideas in volume one and then the most important ideas in volume two. And then the different components there are um, in the student um, readers. There is, a, I'll show you in a minute, a think twice box, find out the facts box, writer's corner box, um, and learning lab. And then it goes into the teacher components. There are some tests and assessments. Um, it tells you what's in the teacher's guide, the pacing guide, what the teacher needs to know. Um, reading aloud. How you should still be doing that, even in middle school. And then it tells a little bit about the different um, turn and talk, learning lab, talk it over sections that you'll see in the reader. And then the big questions in each chapter. So each chapter will have a big question that that chapter will um, help answer and it just gives you all of those at a glance. The core vocabulary from each um, chapter. Um, and then there's uh, activity pages for each chapter, which I did not order. Those I would have to print. I did not order uh, those. Um, it talks about how um, in every American history unit, they have a section called the Pathway to Citizen Citizenship. And let's see. Oh, there we go. There's more resources there. And there to turn these pages okay and then we get into the beginning here so this is what a chapter kind of looks like it tells you the big question the primary focus objectives what the teacher needs to know materials needed the core vocabulary more core vocabulary over here core lesson this unit or this doing this will take 35 minutes and then it walks you through what you're going to do has literal questions support yeah different types of questions you can ask So that is one chapter that you're going over. And it looks like, let me go back here. Mm. 
So it does break it down by um, how many minutes. So we have five minutes, five minutes, 25 minutes. Let's see what else we've got here. So it looks like that whole chapter is like a 35 minute lesson, if I'm reading that correctly. Anyway, and then it goes into the next chapter. Um, in the back, this is for both volumes of um, the readers. Let's go to the back and see what's in here. Got volume two, teacher resources. Let's find volume one. Chapter 8. Those are some of the teacher resources. It's like some answer keys. Alright, so that's what's in the back there. Um, what else? Okay. So then we have the student readers here. We have volume one, which is a history of the United States pre-colonial to the 1800s. And then volume two, history of the United States modern times, which is late 1800s to the 2000s. These are very thick. If you've ever used any of the core knowledge readers, you will know that these are quite a bit thicker than those. And let's take a look inside. All right, so here is volume one, the table of contents. So um, there are vocabulary words interspersed. There's good pictures and graphics. All right, here we go with the big question. These are throughout, I think twice, just um, questions to kind of think a little bit more about. There are these throughout as well. Find out the facts where it wants you to research something. There's some more vocabulary. Think twice. Vocabulary. The vocabulary it looks like it's also bolded within the text. These writer corners are throughout as well. This one is write a paragraph on the various challenges faced by indigenous people living in either a very dry environment or a frozen one. And then we get into the next chapter. And there's another big question. And they're all laid out pretty much the same. Lots of these little boxes. Good pictures. pleased I think that this will make a good spine um I mean is the the lesson plan like in the teacher's manual a little dry perhaps like I think I would want to add in some other stuff but I think that this would be a good a good spine so I'm pleased with it I'll just do a little flip through here now you could do this totally for free. You don't have to purchase the books. You can go to the Core Knowledge website um, and I believe just download these. I think these are available for download right now. You'd have to double check. Um, I think their middle school curriculum is a little newer perhaps. Um, 
But anyway, that's what the second volume looks like. So I am pleased at some point we will use these, but I just wanted to share them with you. If you guys have any questions, um, let me know down below and I will try to answer them.